Hello, this is Professor BRB, uh, and in this short video we will apply a drop cap uh, to a paragraph and then we'll create a nested paragraph style so that we can recreate this style um, on another paragraph with just one click. So let's get started with some plain text. First thing to do is to style the letter that is destined to be a drop cap. And um, I'm going to use Kepler, uh, which is installed on my computer. And you can see Kepler has a crazy, crazy uh, number of um, fonts. And I'm going to choose Black Extended Display because the display uh, font is particularly designed to look good in large sizes. And uh, there it is. I want to make it into a nice color, so I'll make it purple so it'll stand out. And while I still have it selected, is a good time to make a character style. So I'll go over here, note that I'm in my typography workspace so that I have access to all my typography controls, and I'll create a new character style. I'm going to call it Kepler Old Violet, so I can kind of remember what it is. And that's good. Apply style to selection. Sure, absolutely. Uh, now I'll just put my cursor anywhere in this paragraph and we'll create a paragraph style. So we go to the paragraph styles panel, panel menu, new paragraph style. And I'm going to call this Kepler drop cap. Now you'll notice that drop caps and nested styles are conveniently uh, together over here on the left. So I choose that and um, right now I can actually apply my drop cap. So uh, make sure that preview is checked and go uh, one, nothing happens, two, and three. That's great. And I can increase my number of characters here, but in this case, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Uh, now, <clears throat> in order to include the special formatting for the capital, I have to alert InDesign to call upon that character style that I previously created. So I'll go new nested style here, and I choose the character style I just created and through one, and I can change this if I want it to be more than one, but I don't actually, just through one, and you can see I've got a lot of choices here. Uh, I just want one character, so there I go, through one character. And um, then I click OK, and let's try applying this to uh, a plain paragraph like this one down here. And let's see what happens when we just click anywhere in that paragraph and then go. Great! Worked brilliantly. Uh, and uh, it'll work on any first letter. So if the first letter is something different, uh, you might sometimes have a little problem here. Notice that little problem I came on? That you kind of have to solve uh, by itself. And I'll, I'll show you how to do it since that just occurred. Uh, first, I'm going to go um, show hidden characters so that we can see what's going on there. And I'm going to make a force return, uh, just a shift return at the end of the previous line. And then the cursor will go down here, and I'm just going to insert an M space and see what that does. So I insert, insert white space, M space on a Mac, it's Command Shift M. And what an M space is, is it's just a wide space. It's equal, uh, an M is equal to the size uh, of whatever text you're using. So right now I'm using Minion Pro 12 point, so an M is going to be 12 points. If I was using 10 points, it would be 10 points. So that's great. Uh, I can instantly uh, apply this anywhere I want just by clicking on that style. And there you go. Uh, in the next video, in case you're interested in uh, carrying drop caps a little further, uh, in the next video I'll show you a neat trick whereby you can get a drop cap to hang outside
a type frame. And this is not in a separate frame here. It's actually, if you move it around, it comes with it. So that's cool. And if you want to learn how to that, do that, stay tuned and watch the next video.